Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. In the previous tutorial, I taught you about DNS information gathering of subdomains and IPv4 and IPv6 through DNS dict and and let me, and you are crazy. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, so now the next thing that I would be teaching you today would be the DNS analysis version of our DNS recon and DNS map. So I would be first starting with DNS recon quite because it's quite a bit easy than DNS map. So DNS recon it's just a tool for enumeration and it is again coded in Python same thing as you are crazy and it enables to gather DNS oriented information on a given target. So sorry not you are crazy it was uh, Python is based along with uh, the harvester perfect. So now in order for you to open uh, DNS recon just I'll just keep this terminal on this right hand side. Just go to Cal Linux information gathering DNS analysis and DNS recon. And as you can see we have each and everything over here that we want. All the tags. The most important would be the hyphen D hyphen R and the dictionary file that we would be using and in case if we are trying to filter uh, out brute force then we'll have to use hyphen F as well. So there was a bug in Kali Linux some time ago that we were not able to just type DNS uh, the recon, we need to type DNS to recon period by. But uh, this tool that I would be using is bug free, the reason being that uh, it has been updated in the recent version and if you have the updated version you don't have to worry about that. So this uh, bug has been fixed by Kali Linux team on the new update. So the standard called enumeration is that we can go ahead and get the SOA record name server, uh, mail host, MX, IP ranges and uh, a lot of more that the company is using what servers can send emails from as well. So I'll just go ahead and show you the DNS recon version this R E C O N hyphen T S T D hyphen D Google dot com in case you might be wondering what is hyphen D and hyphen T uh, as I told you the few things are the most important T is for the type and D is for the domain target so with T is we have the standard type and the domain is google.com so let's check perfect so uh, by gathering this information that I enumerated we can see that uh, Google has uh, SRV that service records and now we know that we they are using a jabber that's XMPP and we have also obtained the IP and uh, let's check if we have the ports as well through which they transfer as of now we only have the IP addresses except for this one so let's we have the port as well over here 31 now let's go ahead and check the ports as well so I'll just type DNS recon hyphen T SRV since the type would be for the surface and hyphen D google.com let's check all the service records okay so let's check uh, we have all the XMPP files we don't have okay we have the port over here that is 389 that's being used over here we have 5269 5269 so we have all the information that we need uh, even the IPv6 ports we have it over here so we don't need to probably worry about gathering any information from the outside we can go ahead and gather any, all the information just by using this tool so now there's one more thing that I'd like to teach you that would be the zone transfer there is security problem with DNS zone transfer uh, and it is that it can be used to decipher the topology of a company's network specifically when a user is trying to perform a zone transfer yeah, so what it does is that it sends a DNS query to a list of all DNS information like name servers or home host names MX and CNAME records zone serial number time to leave records etc and due to the amount of information that can be obtained, DNS zone transfer cannot be easily found. So I'll show you an example as to how we can go ahead and try to do that. Uh, DNS hyphen T A X F R and DNS recon DNS recon hyphen T X F R hyphen D and let's check for google.com if we are able to find anything for that zone transfer failed okay zone transfer has failed for google.com maybe it's way too secure let's check for a random local uh, Durga for the one which I tried previously 
for city dot co dot in let's check it for this okay so drone zone transfer was successful over here as you can see these one were successful SOA and NS ways okay perfect so this is how we can go ahead and see the time to live records as well as zone transfers now we have a top level enumeration as well and what it does is that it shows the level domain name along with the IP addresses so I'll just go ahead and type DNS recon from T and TLD hyphen D DNS recon hyphen T LTLD .com. perfect let's go ahead and check what we get this is for the top level enumeration so we have the basic IP addresses okay we have I believe we have lots of different IP addresses working under Facebook okay I believe we have lots of top level enumeration I may need to quit this because I don't see it any anywhere near soon okay so what I would be doing I would just go ahead and quit because I think that Facebook has lots on lots of uh, top level enumerations let's check for google.com if it runs I will be able to show you how it looks like in the end if it does not if it does collide in the end if it does not then again I'll have to move on to the next topic okay all the host and IP addresses of Google are again still active I believe so I won't be able to continue with that so but this is how you can go ahead and find out different IP addresses for that now let's go ahead and take a look at the reverse lookup as to how we can go ahead and also use the reverse lookup and reverse DNS lookup is a determination of a domain name with the associated IP address DNS recon can perform a reverse lookup for PTR records that's pointer records against IPv4 and IPv6 address ranges so I'll just quit this one by typing control Z and I'll go ahead and check try to do a reverse lookup recon on that uh, and these would be I would need to go and insert two different IP addresses so the IP address for Google would be 173.192.114.86 then 173.192.114.96 okay so check range provided is invalid okay never mind so if you had a valid range then you would have gotten all the reverse to a DNS lookup information uh, for the google.com as well so to save all of these enumeration results uh, you need to go ahead and type DNS recon hyphen D let's say for google.com you want to save I'll type XML MR and hyphen D is used for denoting the domain uh, hyphen T is used uh, to specify which type you want of enumeration you want to use as I was using previously so in case I want to go ahead and save all this information inside a file I can just go ahead and type this and a file will be created over here in home named MR and you can see all of these things perfect I'll just close so this is one way of using the DNS recon now the next topic that I would like to teach you would be the DNS uh, mapping version which is quite different from the DNS recon but that would be it for this tutorial I'll be teaching that in the next tutorial so once you have understood all of these three to four things that I have taught you till now DNS mapping would be quite easy and yes I'll be showing you how we can go ahead and brute force that as well that's it for this tutorial